Hi, Velvet here, and today, guess what? We are doing a build. So today's build is a household build for the Good vs. Evil base game Let's Play. And that, folks, is my inspiration. Isn't it beautiful? No, it's not. It is um, for my worst family. <laughs> now, the worst family are evil. Um, for my evil play and they are kind of they're lazy they're swampy they're nasty they don't look after things um, they don't have money uh, so they don't spend any money on things like their house um, and maintaining it um, you know they've inherited the house from a relative and they've all moved in there and kind of wrecked it yeah kind of wrecked it so this was quite an interesting build for me because I wasn't going for pretty um, I was going for ugly <laughs> ugly and run down and yeah um, this this let's play is base game only so that uh, means all my builds are base game only which makes it really really challenging to kind of make it look run down. Um, as you see here, I'm kind of putting different colors on the roofs. I thought the roof parts, I thought that would sort of mix it up a little bit and make it look um, like things have kind of been slapped together and you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I think, you know, if I had a pack like the werewolves pack on this, on this build, um, it would be so much easier, I think. Um, Basically, you know, you've got all your rundown things and torn bits and pieces and, you know, uh, whereas in just a base game, you don't have that. So that was a real challenge for me, is just trying to work out how to make this look um, like it hasn't been maintained and um, these are people that don't care about their possessions here. You know, this is just a place for them to, to hang out and to live and um, they don't care about making it look good. So yeah, so that was the challenge with this build and yeah, you see with the roof, I did something, I don't know, I think it's just a little bit interesting there um, with the two sides and kind of curved, that kind of suits the inspiration that I, that I used and uh, did the different colours. For the roof as well um and i actually did uh something a little bit weird with windows you know i did mismatch windows like someone had broken the windows and it was just kind of like what they found was put in there <laughs> you know it's kind of just scavenged things i have replaced things that have gotten broken along the way uh, that was kind of the idea behind it anyway so I'm just doing the back of the house here and, and once again doing the roof, uh, all the different colours. So just splitting the roof up so I can um, colour it different colours and make it look kind of dilapidated and pulled together and yeah, different bits from different things. This is just kind of all cobbled together. It's a cobbled together kind of house. So I did the upstairs with an outside uh, staircase. I mean, it's not like a big house, so it wasn't like a lot of room in there for a staircase anyway, but I kind of thought it was the cheaper thing to do as well for um, for this kind of build is have an outside, outside staircase, um, which would be yeah something that most people wouldn't have but in this kind of build it's like eh, we've kind of cobbled together the second floor and here's a here's a staircase to get up there shove it all in there that's the idea behind it um so it's gonna be uh yeah the kind of the the piling uh, foundation on the bottom so we're gonna go swampy as you see here, I'm going to put some put some water in. I'm just shrinking, um, not shrinking, putting putting a dip in the ground there, and yeah, put, going to put some swampy water in there because it's a swampy kind of property, swampy kind of people, swampy kind of house. So I thought that kind of fit the fit the vibe of the house. 
and it's going to be overgrown uh, so we're going to have um, just kind of mossy plants on the on the roof um, just overgrown and yeah little bits and bits of plant here and there so they haven't really maintained the property is the idea behind this so that's why there's sort of plants plants growing on the roof and around the around the um, columns and bits and pieces so I'm just placing those on the roof there I really like the um, the idea of the swampy property for these for these people. The worse, yeah. Well, they've got the, they've got a, an appropriate name. They are the worst. They are not nice people at all. Um, it's a family of eight, so it's going to be a real squeeze to get all of eight all eight of them into this property because uh, it's really not that big, but. Yeah, we're going to squeeze them in there and they're going to all be on top of each other and they don't like each other and they don't like anybody else. And yeah, they're just really unpleasant people. And so this is an unpleasant house for unpleasant people, which I think is perfect. But these guys, they've got ambition. So that's one thing that they have got is they plan to take over Willow Creek. So I'm just building a, like a little... The whole idea of this was like a, a rundown shed and they're kind of going to use that as like there's a wall that's caved in um obviously i couldn't really show that because you know i don't have that real uh option in the in the base game but yeah it's kind of like a caved in uh shed where there's a roof and one wall standing they've propped it up with a column and it's kind of going to be their little hangout spot they're going to have um like a barbecue in there and uh, a seat, you know, just kind of low class hangout spot for the for the family. Uh, so yep, just doing the roofs again with the different colours and uh, doing the different colours on the roof edging. Yeah, so something different. I didn't don't think I did that on the house actually. And so yeah, dirt on the base there because that seems appropriate for these kind of people. It really does. So I'm excited to play this Let's Play and um, really explore the evil side of Sims and get to know these characters uh, a little bit more and uh, see how this house takes them because these guys don't plan to stay in this house and that's why part of why they haven't taken taken care of it. They uh, they have ambitions to move out and you see here I had I had a really good think about how to do how to make this house look really dilapidated and run down and cobbled together um, and I thought well what if I just did like different um, different wall pieces so different wall colors um, I'm just putting newspaper wallpaper on the inside because that is perfect for this build. It's, I've never used that newspaper, newspaper um, wallpaper ever in anything. Because what do you use that for? It turns out you use it for an ugly house for ugly people. Not physically, just on the inside. Ugly people on the inside. So yeah, I was excited to use that newspaper wallpaper. Because that made perfect sense with this build. And then, yeah, so I was using sort of like different um, types of materials on the outside as well and sort of mixing it around um, because I thought that was kind of perfect for, for how this house should be decorated with like, uh, it's like wood and concrete and like uh, dirt, I think it's like a dirt colored paint maybe, I don't know, but yeah, different colors just like we've had this and we've just slapped it on the house just to keep it you know keep it together but we don't really care what it looks like and yeah that was the whole idea of of why I went with that aesthetic on the on the house because that kind of made sense for these people um, and yeah anyway so <laughs> so these guys plan 
to take over Oakenstead. They, they want Oakenstead. That's going to be the ultimate goal of this household. How are they going to do that? I really don't know. And that's what the Let's Play is for. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to play it. So you see there I had the um, little setup for the for the shed hangout spot. And they're going to have oh, it's mosquitoes and dragonflies <laughs> in the swampy area. Ugh, ugh. Imagine living with that like around your house. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah. So I put dragonflies and and mosquitoes and around the swampy area just to make it all that much grosser and I've taken a bit of the green away from the from the grass because um, yeah muddy and swampy and kind of suits and I'm just adding in some kind of debris is the best way to put that some bits and pieces that are just kind of left laying around and they just couldn't be bothered putting it away some sporting equipment it's just like here's some stuff we don't take care of it so yeah, and uh, kind of, I know they're supposed to be like party trees and stuff, and they do look pretty at night, but they, during the day, they look dead. <laughs> so they kind of suited this family, dead trees. Yeah, so I thought that was quite cool. Um, I think I took those gravestones out though, a bit later. So we're just going to work on the inside, we're going to light that up. Uh, I don't think I'd do anything too different with the lighting because yeah these guys wouldn't spend any money on lighting and I uh, just gonna put the stairs in for the front for the downstairs area because we don't have that so far and I'm just gonna knock out the side there save some money all right and I think uh, we're gonna go inside and do a bit of a bit of decorating I don't know oh yeah muddy muddy front area because that's kind of perfect for these guys so upstairs uh, we've got eight people all together so we're going to have a couple of lots of bunks so that's five in a toddler bed so that covers five people all together and they're all going to have different colors and it's all going to be really mismatched and quite ugly so i'm just going to have a little bathroom there and it's going to be uh, just like a toilet and a sink. And then, yeah, I'm putting the bath outside. <laughs> because <laughs> that's the kind of people they are. Yeah, they're going to have baths outside. Classy. I mean, you know, they've got a fence around it. It's okay. Nobody's going to be traumatized. And, you know, it's the real uh, ugly wooden built raggedy kind of bath so I think that was perfect for this build um, so just just the bathroom going in there and uh, some shelving and some towels and bits and pieces there Boom. using the zapping up technique control f9 control f9 control 9 control 0 move it around and then uh, so there's an little extra room going in at the top and that's just going to be one of the teens rooms i think maybe just a separate room for uh for them and then you'll see that the, the windows yeah i'm going to do them all sort of real mismatched brown um making yeah no sense really for for a normal build but for this house i think it makes sense so a little uh Bit of furniture for the kids up here a dresser and uh, a toy and I think I'm gonna put a TV on yeah a TV and a gramophone because <laughs> you're not going to have the latest technology in this house and, oh I did the corkboard floor as well because I never use that either like newspaper walls and corkboard floor laws yeah that just was perfect for this house and yeah never used them in any other builds so that was quite exciting and new for me so i'm just putting in the master bedroom here so that's for um the two main parents in the house and they're going to sleep downstairs away from the kids which you know for any parent that's the dream isn't it <laughs> just kidding <laughs> So yeah, all you can see all the mismatched windows there, different sizes, just kind of like, this is stuff we've found and we've just put it in the house. 
and here it is. So, I, so the house, I mean the bed, I kind of, oh, I'm putting a bar in the, um, in the, in the sheet area, in a boxing thing, boxing bag, uh, and woodworking, because actually one of them has got some skills in woodworking, because that's how they've managed to maintain the house, um, and build, put in things like the windows and stuff like that, so one of them does have a woodworking fascination. And so we're just putting the kitchen in, and it's just going to be pretty basic. Nothing exciting with the uh, with the items really. I did use a vault modular. Um, I just sort of thought their look kind of worked with the house more than the than the basic kind of um, the basic counter. And I'm going to change all the colours, so it's just kind of like things we've found, things we've shoved in there and a basic sink and a microwave because these are the kind of people that would really microwave their food so that made sense to go in there i'm not really going to put a lot into the dining table uh because uh it's just kind of they don't have the room and a lot of the time they'll sit outside in the shed and just have something to eat out there and i use those um built chairs so it kind of matches the the bath outside which you can see in the background there so I'm going to put another TV in there for the downstairs little lounge area um, and I think that's just about done on the inside wow so a chair a lamp oh now that lamp that is the only fancy thing that they've inherited with the house so it's really important <laughs> to them so let's take take a tour of the house so that's the outside oh doesn't that look terrible perfect for these guys i'm so happy with that and yeah you can see all the different colors and different um bits and pieces on the roofs and how swampy it is yuck and they're cobbled together little shed hangout spot that's sort of in, in lieu of having a porch and yeah all swampy and and not the prettiest kind of house and then we've got our outside bath oh so that's gonna traumatize the neighbors <laughs> oh that's gonna be lovely and yeah so that's our little hangout spot so you've got a table and the barbecue and the bar and the couch and the and the boxing thing that I can't remember the name of punching bag boxing bag punching bag maybe so let's take a look inside so yeah our ugly ugly newspaper wallpaper perfect and those how oh those chairs work so well for this build on the dining table so you see sort of the kitchen there and then it's a sort of lounge area and it's all mismatched and kind of ugly and the bedroom so you know we've got our we've got to rock out with our guitar obviously um so just woodworking guitar and a bed that's all there is to that sort of room um and i went with a not the basic bed i went for a heavier bed i sort of felt that the more wooden bed would suit these characters and then the metal for the for the kids upstairs with the metal frames and all, nothing matching not really a lot of toys just kind of like a lump of clay one toy some posters and that's the basic bathroom there so their toilet in there and their sink and this is the teenager's bedroom and they've got a little fish tank there because they're into fishing Whee! and then they've got the single poster because it's kind of sad but they don't have much and that's our lovely beer that's our room <sighs> So I guess we're going to say goodbye to the worst for this time. And uh, you can catch them in my Let's Play. So you can uh, download that on the gallery. It's up now, Velvet B. Um, you can follow me on YouTube. Com comment, like, subscribe. That would be great. Love you. Bye.